little cinematics in between. Yeah, so with this, like I mentioned, the story is such a big part. And you see right here, this is really cool. So you see there's this seamless transition into yeah. the between point. the cutscene. So this Quick. is every time. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, this is... You have to uh, do something. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... Yeah. Basically, one of the, the, the biggest new things with Tekken 7 is uh, the fact it's been developed in Unreal Engine 4. So both the cutscenes, cutscenes have rendered in Unreal Engine 4, okay. and then the game is developed with it. Um, and it allows that, that seamless transition. And, you know, with, with sort of Tekken, the story is so important. Um, and really, it creates that really nice way to, to, to bring the story into the gameplay. Yeah. So, you know, if you're a Tekken fan, you like the story, you like the gameplay. And now it kind of just makes this really sort of cool transition between the two. You know? I mean, just you know, like obviously you have the cutscene, you have the gameplay, but if it leads itself straight in. Yeah. You're more immersed in the battle straight off. Yeah, yeah. It's just a really exciting way to to bring those two core elements of Tekken that long-term Tekken fans like yeah. into uh, into the experience. Oh no. Oh, he was not playing against you. No, no. Oh, not even. I was like, you have to do something. You're losing because the other one was like going to die real fast. No, no, I'm not arrogant like that. Just sat there waiting. It's just like, hey, I'm not doing anything. Me. All right. So yeah. that's that was the the reason why I lost there because um, you had to like break Heihachi's guard. Yeah. Because he was charging up that attack, but I didn't do enough attacks on him. So. So then you just died. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was I was left with that sliver of health. Okay. So now you, now you're going to win this one, right? Yes. Okay. Of course. Of course. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I don't actually think it's been shown what happens if you do lose. Mm -hmm. So it just shows that you have to actually win. Yeah. 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 You would have seen you probably saw where he's charging up. That doesn't normally happen in kind of standard competitive game mm -hmm. of Tekken. Mm -hmm. Um and that's again, you know, a cool thing about the sort of story mode, there's gonna be these these sort of little moments like that that uh, change things up and add a bit of drama to things. So. And you're going all in on the story mode this time. Mm -hmm. You got some, you know, branching characters, you're not just gonna use one character, you're gonna yeah. Experience different characters and different play styles. It's gonna be a multi multiple hour epic yeah. journey. Yeah. So you know, if you if you've played a lot of Tekken, you know that um, a lot of the series is based around this rivalry and conflict between the Mishima Zaibatsu and G Corporation. Um, and you you're gonna see in the story in this a lot of answers around that. And it's gonna go back, take the story back to like you know before Tekken War. Um, you're gonna see stuff like Young Kazuya. Uh, you know, see him as a as a child. Um, and also, uh, you know, as well as that sort of main story, we, we also sort of recently talked about the fact there'll be side stories as well. Um, and one we've confirmed is that uh, Claudio will have his, uh, his own kind of side stories nice. and uh, show how, how he's involved with the, the central conflict of Tekken, basically. What do you mean? Well, you, I'm, I'm looking at you, but I see his hands just like, here, here. Yeah. Going so fast. Yeah. It's <laughs> Sometimes impressive. like really chill and then it goes really fast. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, what are you doing? Like <laughs> Yeah. Edwin really knows the moves. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Akuma. Akuma based god. There you go. This is my favourite character in any fighting game ever, I think, so yeah. I'm glad he got to say his uh, catchphrase for you there. Yeah. I almost put a spoiler disclaimer yeah. when you said it. <laughs> I know. I, I shouldn't have I couldn't help myself. No. It's just a coma. It's no. so cool. I mean, it's exciting, isn't it? So you, you can't help yourself. You can't help yourself. Akuma's always been his big necklace and like his badass attitude. You know, he's a, he's a legend. So two, two legends, right? you can play against someone else. Wow. Uh, you can play against a computer. Um, mm -hmm. How many different ways, uh, like a storyline play? What can you do? So in this uh, demo this you're one. seeing here, we've got the story, which is just this sort of first battle between Nihachi yeah. uh, and Akuma. Uh, we've also got the arcade mode in there, of course, as a big part of Tekken. Mm. Uh, and then the versus mode as well, which we'll, we'll jump into now, me and Edwin Alert. Awesome. We'll see, we'll see who's got the, the <laughs> skill to get it done. And one new thing you bring this uh, this year is like a rage mode or a rage system that yeah. I've heard about. Yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll talk a bit more about that when we're in, in the versus mode. Oh, okay, but, um, I'm too, like, I'm ruining the I'm so ruining the rage mode. Yeah. I'm too excited. <laughs> Spoiling it for me. No, 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 it's cool. So, like, yeah, to give you an idea of what rage is All like, right. so w when you, your character oh, reaches God. a certain God. amount of, of health, if you're taking a bit of a battering, um, and I think it's the orange health zone, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so when, when you, so you, you can tell when you're in rage when you're glowing red. I mean, that's been there since Tekken 6. Yeah. So, uh, but in this, they've kind of given it more uh, utility by offering out the rage arts, you know, the cinematic attacks. Mm. Uh, and oh, okay. recently, in the latest update uh, of Fate of Retribution, uh, they've added what's called Rage Drives, which is quite a technical uh, kind of move, which is usually used to fill combos, uh, but it does a lot of damage. Yeah. 
the drawback is you will lose rage mode and when you're in rage mode you do um, output more damage so it's like a comeback factor okay yeah. so it's another one of the interesting mechanics that fighting games seem to have this year to add a kind of what do you do what, what decisions do you make and how do you approach the battle yeah if you you know if you're in a losing situation it just gives the, a player another way to kind of turn the tide on the battle but there's other things you can do with this rage mode which we'll uh, we'll show you in a oh, second exactly. okay. so, and obviously these are some of the characters that have been revealed already this isn't going to be the whole roster uh, not in this build, no. Um, so we, there's going to be over 30 characters in the game. Okay. Awesome. Uh, recently, we revealed uh, Master Raven. Uh, so you know, long-term Tekken fans will be pretty excited about that. I think with the new Raven, she's she's like a leader of the Ravens that have kind of come before. <laughs> oh wow! She's she's yeah, she she is the master. Right? She's the master of the masters, nice. basically. Um, We've also revealed uh, Bob. Bob. Yep. Bob. Oh, Bob. Bob. Yep. Uh, Sir yeah. Robert. <laughs> uh, so he was introduced in Tekken 6, uh, very iconic character, because yep. he's all about speed and weight, and you can tell that <laughs> by his size and yep. how quickly it moves. Yeah. Uh, the most recent one, which we announced back at Gamescom, was Lee Chao Lan and Violet. So Violet is like the alter ego uh, that mm. Lee took on in order to kind of hide from the Mishimas. So. And from a story perspective, this is pure canon, this game. There's a real kind of, the story we've been following for all the... the it's race of Tekken is going to really come to a head here. Yeah, yeah. You're going to see a lot of those sort of long-term questions answered and, and see a, a load of conflicts come to head. I mean, even like you said uh, about Lee Chao Lan, like, so he has, uh, is it called Violet Corporations? Something like that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and, uh, and he has like his own technology and his own plan. And he's he was raised as uh, like a sort of rival to Kazuya, wasn't he? Um, so, you, you know, with this conflict between Kazuya and Hachi, you've then got other other contenders appearing like Lee Chao Lan and it's it's all going to kind of entwine basically. Awesome. Let's go ahead. So let's just, uh, Are you, you guys go going to play with your favourite character? Uh, so uh, Where you know you're good at? <laughs> I can play a wide variety of characters okay. uh, but one, one particular character that I generally took a liking to when Tekken 7 got even shown off was uh, Kazuya. Yeah. So I want you to make a particular focus on his coat. It's okay. Beautiful. Okay. He's right about is this. It, Keep a close eye. Yeah. And I'm going to go for King. Because he's he is the greatest. The King. Okay. The legend. He is actually the greatest, I can confirm. The wrestling legend. King. Get ready for well, we'll see battle. if King is the best or not. <laughs> you better show it now. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. I didn't think about that when I said that. Really. Yeah, I mean, no you're pressure. like not showing up, but you have to really yeah. show it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. me playing. Is he the greatest? I'm not sure. I know. <laughs> he is, Wang is the greatest. Let's, let's all be honest. <laughs> we'll have to see him in action. So we have, to, we have to check his code, right? What's yeah. that, sir? Look, it looks like um, snake. Snake letter. Yeah. I don't think it's been officially confirmed what the actual material what the, is. the brand of fabric of Kazuya's yeah. amazing jacket is. Okay. I mean, there's been a lot of speculation around mm. it, you know. It Some say like it's lined with or gold. Or wow. Yeah. But I think this, this coat is like, it shows what the Unreal Engine has kind of really helped. Yeah. Uh, I said snake, but that was not what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like snake, like leathery, no, crocodile. Um, yeah, yeah. Crocodile, that's yeah. what yeah. Crocodile, say, alligator. Snake. Yeah, I can see yeah. that. Some crocodile. kind of reptile. <laughs> He looks yeah, like Lizard definitely. Illuminati anyway, so it kind of fits <laughs> in with the look, I guess. His eyebrows are uh, definitely on point. Oh, he's mm. definitely shaped those eyebrows. He's yeah. worked. He's yeah. worked on those eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. if he get just get like a comb, just go. Yeah, psh. yeah. Or <laughs> well, maybe he just like you know like has so some drugs that increase. Well, the it makes him look angry always. Like. Does it? It's good. Oh, wait. wow. I mean, we talk about Kazuya's coat, but look at that cape as yeah. well. So. Ah. <laughs> Oh, now, now they're the spam. They're, yeah, they're now in so concentration in it. mode yeah. now. This is, I feel like even us talking is going to distract me. But <laughs> it, it won't work. You, I said we'd talk about the rage arts, so now I'm just. Uh, now there's no word, am I? I have to win. I have to. I mean, we're seeing, as you mentioned, the, the beautiful textures and obviously the, the movement of the fabrics. Like, you know, this is a real new thing in games. You know, you, this is something we've been limited by and taking for granted that, you know, clothes don't really move like clothes, but now I can't take my eye off the jacket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Something like Unreal Engine 4, you know, truly has allowed us to create these amazing, amazing textures in the game. This is bringing me back to Tekken 3 and uh, <laughs> the original, the Tekken 2 on the arcades. And yeah. yeah. I still remember when Tekken 3 first dropped, what a huge game that was at the time and how well received it was. 
And, uh, you know, Tekken 7 really looks like it's, you know, catching in and, yeah. you know, trying to make the best of what people love the Tekken 3. And, yeah. and they still learn the mechanics and the things that have learned through the Tekken's 4, 5, 6 and tag tournament and stuff. So. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's so many characters in there that people loved in Tekken 3. You know, King being one of them, of course. So. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of the classics in there. Oh! Wow, one Watch one. your toes. Yeah, I was <laughs> tight at that one. Or your tail. Oh, oh! Oh! Nice! This takes me back to how I don't know how many times I waited to play that guy who was really good, and then I spent my 50p and I had like three minutes of gameplay. And just got destroyed. Yeah. Round four. Yeah, I think we've all got those those sort of memories of Tekken two and yeah. Tekken three like that. You know, you used to have to queue up and wait and pay for each round. You know, now nowadays you can play like you know arcade quality perfect games in your own home. This has obviously been yeah. out in the arcades already. Yeah. Um, has it not? Has yeah, it's out in arcades, uh, but um, but not a huge release. It's uh, mainly in Japan and Korea. Yeah, because you know, arcades are sadly not what they once were, and uh, but you know to have this quality of a game in your front room, and, you know, Come once on, you've show got it, it, you can just play as many colors <laughs> as you want. He's, he's like, he's not saying anything anymore. He's like, I'm serious. Serious. Well, it's serious because I'm losing. Uh, yeah, I yeah. can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess we probably should talk about a bit about this rage stuff, really. Yeah. yeah. Should we share that in the next fight? Yeah, sure, okay. in the next fight. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, do you, mean, do you want a rematch or do you want to run, let's run the Let's swap it up a little bit. Change yeah. it up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Let's do it. Show my effect, yeah. The trouble is, we, we play this a lot in the office, of course. So uh, of course. you know, you know we want to sort of talk so much yeah. about it. As soon as I start playing Edwin, you know, yeah. those old rivalries, much like the ones you see in Tekken Seven, yeah. just just come to the surface. They again, do. That's, so. that's yeah, but that's the whole that's so, the whole so thing. So you say Horang's your favourite? Yes, it, of okay. course. Uh, yeah. I, I rock out some Horang. Yeah, but I that's love. the thing. You want to win, so it's like normally that you always want to. Lord, oh my that god! Is the thing. This is a classic battle. This one. This should be interesting because they're both quite leggy characters, aren't they? Yeah. But this is taking me back. Oh Although, for some reason, Horang seems to have got an eye patch. So, Interesting. My mysterious eye patch. I personally think he looks more like a pretty boy these days with an <laughs> eye patch. <laughs> it's a good look. Eye patch in there, you know, that highlight. <laughs> Strong look. look. I like it. They've always had such identifiable oh, characters I see, yeah, as well. Yeah. You know, the, you know with, um, who's it, Paul with his long hair? Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, all the other characters and, you know, obviously the dance at the bears and the, yeah. the crazy characters. It's so much life and vibrance to the Tekken world. And I think so many people are going to be so excited to get back into it. And especially with the one v one mechanic. Yeah, yeah. He looks I'm really smooth on here, by the way. Like, mm, yeah. Look at me. He's got a good power <laughs> on him, hasn't he? Law, not so much. He's uh, he's he's more of a grizzled kind of guy, isn't yeah. he? But, uh, but yeah, I know what you mean. The the, the characters, um, and maybe it's because they all have such sort of rich backstories, but they always feels like there's a sort of depth to them, you mm. know, and like the visual design and, oh, yeah. and the story and everything. And obviously, you know, like. Uh, this is going to appeal to a wide range of players, whether it's tech and newbies, whether it's button smashers, whether it's you know people that are you know getting ready for Evo. Well, I mean, have you have you you know Evo is a huge thing these days, and fighting game tournaments are probably bigger than ever. Yeah. Is there are there some things that you know really advanced players will look forward to in this game? Well, we, obviously, there's a lot to discuss about when we're doing the rage mode. But well, I mean, they've generally made a few um, design choices with the game to make it a bit more viewer friendly. So, like you say, Evo is a big is a big point in the game and. Uh, in many interviews with Harada, he's, he's mentioned about some little things like, um, you know, the the rage arts, for example, is helps a lot with the viewership, and you know, little things like that can help understand. Even if you don't even play Tekken like yeah. uh, hardcore, then you can still see if there's a rage art, there's going to be a big move that's going to happen. Those moments they get the crowd hype, that anticipation yeah. and that payoff that people love at things like Evo. Yeah, but it's the whole thing about game, games like this. I think it's a really good game for people that really want to get into it, but also people that just want to play. To play a casual, ah, let's yeah. play a game. Um, yeah. You just play a couple of games and you're all happy. Um, so I think it's good for all kinds of people. It's not really only for people that want to go on stage and whatever, win things. Yeah. Um, so um, that's why I like about fighter games overall. Yeah, there's, you know, there's definitely times when I'll play someone that's like really good and yeah. you're trying to have the mechanics. Oh. And you really try and fight a, a sensible Round fight. Three. And then I might play a mate who's not really into fighting games, yeah. and we just smash the button and try and beat each other. And you have just as much fun, you know. I, oh, I know, yeah. You know, it, it, I always have like pain, like my hand hurts after like playing on a controller. Uh, I've, no, I've never played with this, oh, but... Oh, arcade stick, you got to go with arcade stick. I've never played with arcade stick, so, but... Um, 
Yeah, but like when I play with a controller, my hand hurts after because I do look into combos sometimes, but I'm not really. I just like to smash buttons, I think. Nice button. So I know it's not good, and after a while, if you play against someone who can play this very well, then you want to look into it. But well, I think one great thing about Tekken is you always have quite a, a, a difficult, um, not a steep necessarily double fighting game. So, yeah. You know, if you played a game like Primal Rage back in the day with its incredibly convoluted combos. Even Street Fighter, to some degree, requires a bit of mechanical knowledge. A lot of the Tekken stuff is rhythm-based, timing-based, and people can learn that in, you know, almost by playing other games, and almost becomes, uh, you know, fluent, just the rhythm of a, of a button press. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's, I mean, there, there are still some advanced combos yeah. in Tekken, so... Uh, I'm not trying to make it, this yeah. Yeah, make it seem like it's simple, but for those early players, you can start doing moves almost right off the bat. It's also funny how you guys play. You're more like like this, and he's like... Oh. It goes so fast. Yeah, so what, what is the way to hold the arcade stick? Yeah. Is it with the two fingers underneath? Is it with the... There's no real... There's no, like, top? wrong way to uh, hold it. I mean... That's good to know. One... one uh, I mean, personally, I just hold it where my hand is rested, okay, there, and then just pretty much use... Fingers there. Are you, it. You're a bit more like holding yeah. it. And yeah, I feel less professional uh, now, now that Edwin's kind <laughs> of. <laughs> I was just like looking that. at it when yeah. you guys were playing. I'm I was just like, like you're like, eh, eh, eh. And now it's like, yeah, so some some people hold it like that, yeah. right? They, really? they call it like the wine glass. Yeah. Literally, it's like you're holding Can the they wine play glass. Like that? And then, you know, you're wow. swirling the wine. Maybe not that far, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be super conscious for like when I'm playing now. Just like, oh, I've, I've got this right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, and then I've seen many people that saw that just holds it like that. Yeah, and the grip, the grip, grip, grip it out. Hard, yeah. the, 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 it will it. definitely break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should so, you do one more round? Uh, let's just change it up, the characters, uh, one more time, yeah. and then uh, we can make, maybe pass it on to you guys. Wow. I will like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I haven't played a. Well, I can't remember. I think Tekken Tag Tournament One was the first <laughs> last last Tekken game I played. Right. Oh, wow. so oh, okay, that's a while back. Bit rusty, yeah, <laughs> bit rusty. I think it's definitely different on 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 this and oh, on play, control I've or with, whatever. I've played with arcade sticks before. I'm a. You have? Yeah, oh yeah, I used to. I oh well, that's gonna be awesome. The time. <laughs> I never, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah, I can say, like, still Tekken yeah, Three is probably one of my favorite games, games of the time. time. Like. The, the reaction that game had, the amount of characters, the amount of playability, the, the scrolling beat em up mode. Yeah. And uh, I think a lot of gamers will agree that Tekken 3 was a real kind of one of the greatest fighting games ever. And it really seems like you're bringing back the, the incredible, uh, you know, stylings and stuff. But also what you've learned, as I said before, from the previous Tekkens before this one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, yeah, totally know what you mean with Tekken 3. I, I played it so much. That was my first Tekken. Mm. And then I remember playing it so much that I went and bought Tekken 2. Yeah. And, uh, you know, brilliant game. But you could see how much things moved on with Tekken mm. 3. Um, and, yeah, with this one, I think it's just a case of just making a game that anyone who's a Tekken fan is just all the best things about the series in there. You know, the characters, the story, um, and just finding, you know, new ways to make it accessible mm. as well. So exciting for you know, new players and veterans alike there's gonna be a lot to get your teeth into mm. especially now that akuma is in so even if you're coming from you know like a street fire background you know there's a character there that mm. you can pick up and uh, i mean you won't you probably won't beat like you know everyone but yeah. you'll, you'll know what you're doing to a certain extent just by just from his moveset but just that familiarity yeah. as well he's you know such a fighting wow. game legend that you know just he's got that instant draw and obviously, it's not something really common on here, but the backgrounds, every background we've seen, the destructible environments, it really is a gorgeous looking game. I just still can't believe we get to play these games at home. Like, you know, like this, this is like, especially with fighting games. Fighting games are always a game that you've got to pay 50p a go, you survive as long as possible, and then you, you're out of credits. Yeah. So you really have to hone your skills, and now, you know, you can play. Oh. oh no! Oh. Oh. How have I dodged that? Yeah. How have I dodged that? <laughs> we were like waiting for something yeah, to happen. <laughs> Fight. But it's such a luxury we have almost as gamers that we can play, you know, these fully incredible arcade experiences from the comfort of our home and have that practice and really, you know, improve your skills over time. Yeah. Rather than having to wait in an arcade for hours to have your go and get killed as soon as you play the good person. Yeah, it's great you can just get that practice in at home now, yeah. you know. It, it, obviously, there'll be a practice mode and uh, arcade mode and story mode. And Wait, is there going to be a tag mode? or? Is um, it there's no announcement of any tag modes or okay. anything beyond that. So, we'll have to wait to find out. But for now, you know, the basics of a fighting game, you've got, you've got them all there. Yeah. I mean, you've just seen like a, a snippet of the story, so you kind of know what to expect. 
except obviously, you know, stretched out over a period of hours. Hours. That looks really exciting. The cinematics, the way it blends into the fight, it's going to be something I think, you know, what do you play first? Oh, there boy. we go, that's a great finish. Yeah, I've been annihilated there actually. <laughs> I should have stuck with King, <laughs> my boy King. You've been, you've been embarrassed, to be it honest. You went only I down. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I think back at the office, there's going to be some words. Yeah, back. yeah, it's going to be uh, a, a stressful few weeks now, I think. So. Let's do it, Spam. I'm ready. Yeah, jump in. Oh, oh my. So you take that one. Thank you. Thank right, you. now what grip do I use? <laughs> like the semi-western grip? Do I use the wide yeah. grip? I'm just going to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no. What did we do? I just use character select. Okay. I mean, depending on which grip you, you so pick, you're obviously siding with right? me or Edwin, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to take it very personally which one you choose. I used to actually use that when I was uh, used to play in the arcades. That's a very tight grip. It's yeah. sturdy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like that. I like it. I'm not sure I want to play a girl. Uh -huh. I'll go with Paul, Hihachi, I'll go with Hwang, King, Jack7. Oh my god. So many characters. Yeah, there's a lot in there. Oh my god, I've got to go with Hwang. I'm going for this one. Oh, all right. Which one is to confirm? Oh, any of the... Oh, it's all fine. <laughs> Not this button. Not <laughs> touching this one. Nope. These four here. Only these four, yeah. all right. Yeah, you got your high attacks and your low attacks. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll be go easy on you. Like, I'll go easy on you, I, I swear. I've never played this. Like, control is all right, but oh god. It's been a while. I'm a bit rusty with Tekken, so... <laughs> <laughs> You've got a chance. I'm probably gonna get destroyed now and embarrass myself. All this, like, oh yeah, I've played Tekken before. I've got the cool grip, and well, I, I if, even if I get wrecked, it's all right because everyone knows now. That, that sounds like that sounds like loser talk to me. That <laughs> sounds like loser talk already. Oh, <laughs> just a little warning for the people yeah, watching. Like, oh, she will just know. Losers make excuses. <laughs> Winners don't have to bother. That's, well, that's what okay, I think. you you will. Okay, we'll see. I'm confident here. I'm confident. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not misplaced. <laughs> Uh oh. And obviously, it's, it's no uh, release date announced yet, is there? It's, uh, no, it's just uh, early 2017. Early 2017, yeah, yeah. and coming to uh, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. And PC. And is nice. there somewhere people can go to if they want to check out more information or find out about features that they're releasing and announced? Yeah, I'd say the best source is uh, our own Twitter, Bandanamco UK. So, nice. yeah, be sure to follow. Awesome. Here we you go. Can also follow at Tekken. Oh so, that will, that will have uh, plenty of information yeah. on upcoming Tekken awesome. yeah. news that you want. Round one. <laughs> Fight. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh god, I'm rusty. I'm rusty. <laughs> this is not fair. There we go, Hwang. Oh my god. My game phase is on, by the way. Oh my Just god. saying, I can't really oh say Oh my it. god, what is hey. happening? This is shameful. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, okay. It's just, this I'm, is your I'm, first I'm building one. up the crowd. Okay. So without trying to distract you too much from the, the Clash of the Titans here, yeah. um, you probably saw Thank towards you, the end there. Thank you, that's going to be so helpful. <laughs> the, uh, the, you went into rage mode towards the end there, yeah. so you would have seen you would have been doing more damage. And if you put the right combo uh, yeah. move, move in, you'd also do your uh, your, your rage attack, basically. Oh my, what's happening, Spamfish? Uh, you're sounding running. very confident. <laughs> there, yeah. not, and they're not even clicking that much, but I know that the, the low ones are like the kickings, uh, and the one is the top, but... I think you played this before. I didn't. I think you're, you're lying. <laughs> this is this is a ringer. No, 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 no. Ah, this is not nasty, man. The comeback. No, no, this is going to be embarrassing. It's going to be a, a, not one round. Just get a round, Hwang. <laughs> Just one round. Oh, no. Oh, this is oh, sweet. There we go. I'm starting to remember right. it now. Just a second. I'm starting okay. to remember the rhythm. Fight. I like oh, it. You're jumping in. I can see. The, I can see the, the Street Fighter tactics. Yeah. <laughs> oh Use man. Fight. Yeah, he's coming back. He's definitely coming back now. He's like, I know what you're doing. Oh, this is. Oh, that's painful. Really. Oh my god. Nice kick. Oh my god. No. Oh. Oh, good throw break. Oh. That's it. <laughs> so. Uh, that was fun. <laughs> So, uh, 